invest. Because when they get the money back, we pay a lot of interest. Peter Firecombe St. Williams are robbing us as we speak. St. Bartholomew's pays two million a week in interest. And Peter Fire have built a hundred hospitals in total. And this is one of the reasons why people are so vocal. Because if we built them publicly, we'd pay 11 billion. But now, from PFI, we'll pay a tenth of a trillion. With this colossal loss of wealth, plus the government cuts to funding, it's easy to see how the NHS is crumbling. But by far, without a doubt, the biggest threat to health is the Health and Social Care Act of 2012. Now, the act itself is over 400 pages. So me trying to break it down would take flipping ages. But I know you love the NHS and really want to save it, so I'll say this in a way that's most easy to explain it. For 60 years and more, since 1948, your NHS was real cause to call this country great. The Secretary of State has had the legal obligation to provide health care for the entire population. But the Health and Social Care Act devolves responsibility. It abdicates the government from NHS delivery. So services become run by clinical commissioners who are private companies and not health practitioners. The Act in fact enables them to open up a market. Health care was free before, but now we're the bargain. You become a target and you can fight your hardest, but this legislation is the nail in your casket. You'll be forced from social welfare into the jaws of private health care. Now we all know what that means. I mean, as a director of a company, there's only one objective, only one directive, only one incentive. Profit, and lots of it. However, you've got to get it, and once you've gone and got it, then it needs to be protected. So if they sell insurance, then they'll start to get selective. They'll turn away the sickest because you're not a good investment. The poor who can't afford to get insurance get rejected. We die and you and I are forced to just accept it. That's what's going to happen here. It's not an empty threat. If you're not upper class or rich, then you'll be left for dead. But they demonise your doctors, overwork your nurses, underfund your hospitals and overburn the service. It's actively happening, they're doing it on purpose, they're doing it just to try and justify their murders. But as they stand with the workers, as they stand with you, family is true, they're battling for you. When they fight, it's for you. When they strike, it's for you. If they don't sign a contract, that is for you. This is your future, this is your fight, this is your healthcare, this is your life. This is your duty, this is your test, this is your war, this is your NHS. Thank you. So again, my name is Potence Whisper. Um, if you'd like to get in touch, it's at Potent Official Online. And if you want to